We are looking on the Congress system. After the Vienna settlement of 1815, the statesmen agreed to form what was known as the Congress system. It was meant to follow up all the deliberations that they'd formulated on the Vienna settlement. They signed this agreement because they wanted to bind themselves together. They wanted to consult themselves in the event of future problems taking place in Europe. After the formulation of the Quadruple Alliance, the Tsar of Russia suggested the formation of the Holy Alliance. He wanted the Allied powers to consider Christian principles in ruling all those people that they ruled in small states. Metternich had to say that it was a high sound in nothing. He was also criticized by Castlereagh, who had to say that it was a sublime mysticism of nonsense. This criticism clearly showed that the Congress system was not going to last for a long period of time. They also clearly showed the cracks that were going to occur. They returned back to their countries and in 1818, they met on their first Congress. They met at the Congress of Alex La Chapella. The Allied powers were disturbed by the continuous revolts that were taking place in Spain. The Spaniards were revolting against Ferdinand VII. There were also disturbances in Italy. The Italians wanted to be independent from Austria. The rise of nationalism and liberalism in Italy influenced the Italians to rebel against Austria. So the statesmen, when they met here on the Alex La Chapella, they wanted to seek a way in which they were going to solve these problems in Italy and in Spain. They also met here so that they could incorporate France in the concept of Europe. France caused problems in Europe during the Napoleonic era. So we, when they met here, they wanted to admit France to become a big power once again. So the quadruple alliance changed to the quadruple alliance. Quadruple means five. They also agreed to remove the troops from the borders of France. When they met here, they also discussed about the issue of slave trade, slavery, and barbary pirates. They wanted these activities to be stopped. The statesmen at the Congress of Alex La Chapella could not agree on how slave trade, slavery, and barbary pirates were supposed to be stopped. Russia and Britain clashed on how these activities were supposed to be stopped. Britain also clashed with the other allied powers. She clashed with Russia, Prussia, and Austria. She was against the issue of intervening in Italy and Spain so that these revolts were going to be stopped. The differences amongst the great powers on the Alex La Chapella also led to the downfall or to the collapse of the Congress system. The next Congress was the Congress of Tropau in 1820. They met at the Congress of Tropau, why? Because revolts continued taking place in Italy and also in Spain. The Portuguese were revolting in their country. So here at the Congress of Tropau, they wanted to see how best these revolts were to be stopped. Unfortunately, the Allied powers could not agree on the action that they were supposed to take to stop these revolts in Spain, in Italy, and also in Portugal. Uh, Britain was against the policy of intervention. Britain wanted small states to enjoy their independence without any interference from the big powers. So the non-interventionist policy of Britain led to the collapse of the Congress system. These disagreements led the statesmen to adjourn. They had to adjourn and later on met on the Tropau Protocol. On the Tropau Protocol, Britain did not attend. Instead, she had to send a representative. Why? She was not pleased about the events that had occurred at the Congress of Tropau. Here at the Tropau Protocol, Austria, Russia, and Prussia, they agreed to deploy troops so that they could go and stop the revolts that were taking place in Italy and also in Spain. We now move on and talk about the next Congress, the Congress of Leibach. 
At the Congress of Leibach, we see that Austria, Prussia, and Russia, they met and they agreed to deploy those troops that they had deployed at the Tropau Protocol. They were deployed to Italy and Spain, and the revolts in these small states were stopped. Britain was frustrated by what Russia, Prussia, and Austria had done. And Britain was quoted as saying, God is for us all and each nation for itself. The big powers were clashing, they were not agreeing amongst themselves on how best peace was supposed to be implemented in Europe. The Congress of Verona occurred because of the Greek revolts that had taken place in Turkey. Greece was a state undertaking and the Greeks revolted because they wanted to be independent from Turkey. They rebelled in 1822, and when they rebelled in 1822, Russia intervened on the side of the Greeks, and they stopped those revolts. At the Congress of Verona, peace was restored in Turkey, and the Greeks assured the statesmen that they were not going to continue rebelling against Turkey. However, on this Congress, Britain became suspicious about the actions of Russia. Russia, according to Britain, wanted to gain more influence in Greece and eventually end up controlling Greece. So Britain was afraid that if Russia had influence in Turkey, it meant that yeah, naval supremacy was going to be affected. So we see the element of jealousy and suspicion starting to develop here. In 1824, the Greeks once again revolted against Turkey. They wanted to be independent. When they rebelled, Britain quickly intervened and stopped those revolts. Britain went on to invite Prussia and also Austria. Russia was not invited on this uh, conference. When order was restored in Greece, Britain went on to consult the president of USA, Monroe. They signed an agreement with USA, which was known as the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine stated that America and Britain, South American colonies, that included Brazil, Chile, Colombia, and Mexico, were not supposed to be tempered with. Britain and USA agreed that if any country tried to temper with their South American colonies, Britain and USA were going to attack them. France went on to invade Spain. This was because the Spaniards still continued rebelling against Ferdinand VII. Intervening of France in Spain led Britain to conclude that the members of the Quadruple Alliance were interested in dominating Europe and were not interested in solving and establishing peace amongst the small states. The last Congress was held in 1825, the so-called the Congress of St. Petersburg. It was held in Russia, but very few countries attended this conference. Let's look on other factors that led to the collapse of the Congress system. Number one, the Congress system collapsed because the original founders of the Congress system were dead. Alexander of Russia was dead, he was succeeded by Nicholas II. Kasurej had committed suicide. We also see that the Congress system collapsed. Why? It is because it did not have a proper structure. It also collapsed because of different ideologies. Britain was a constitutional monarchy as opposed to other allied powers. Their leaders were despotic, they were tyrants, they were absolute rulers. Russia did not have good faith. She wanted to have more influence in the operation of the Congress system. Therefore, that on its own contributed to the collapse of the Congress system.